Hi everybody, Randy from Clearwood Paddleboards with my friend Froggy here this morning. And we wanted to talk to you about why we think it's important to seal up the interior of your hollow wood board. It's inevitable that sooner or later, moisture or water is gonna get into the inside of your board. And if you seal the interior, uh, the chances of serious damage to the board are really minimized. I use uh, a 50-50 mixture with epoxy and denatured alcohol um, to seal the interior of the board. And, uh, you know, it's a really good way to do it, but uh, you, you need to be careful when you, when you mix epoxies with, with things that would uh, thin them out and allow them to penetrate better. Uh, they, they penetrate great uh, into the wood, but they also penetrate into your skin. So if you choose to go this route, wear gloves, wear breathing protection, and wear eye protection because this is serious stuff and you really need to be careful and take it seriously. Um, so when you seal the interior of the board, uh, one of the things that you need to consider is the adhesives that you use when you actually uh, attach the strips to the framework. What you don't want to create is an incompatibility with the product you seal the interior of the board with and the, uh, and the adhesive that you're going to use to attach the strips to the framework. So, uh, you know, I use all epoxy for everything um, and that takes care of that problem. Uh, some people use a, a thinned out type 3 tight bond, um, which is a PVA wood glue. Um, that works. You can you can thin that out and use it, uh, and it works great if you're using that for your adhesive as well. Um, if you're using uh, Gorilla Glue or polyurethane type glues, uh, you want to be careful as to what you use to seal the edge of the the framework, uh, just so that you can maintain compatibility. Um, you know the sure way to do it is just keep it off those edges, uh, but that's really hard to do. So. Uh, be careful when you when you apply your your sealing material and just be aware that you want to maintain some continuity between your adhesives. So uh, another question I get asked a lot uh, when we're talking about interior board sealing is how to do the last strips that go on um, since the board will be closed up once you uh, put those strips on there won't be any way to get in there and brush a sealer on the on those last strips. So. Basically, I pre-seal those um, and and put them on after their their the sealer has gone on and dried. Uh, I also clean up the edges of the strips uh, just to make sure I've got fresh wood after I after I seal those uh, last strips up. Um, it's pretty inevitable that whatever you're sealing the the last strips with. Um, is going to bleed onto the edge of the strip and there again you want to maintain good uh, adhesion between all the parts so uh, you know I, I push the lo those last strips through the table saw just to clean those edges up just ever so slightly uh, and then I have fresh wood to go with on the on the adhesive for the la for those last strips so um, that's pretty much it. If you've got any questions, you can always reach me at clearwoodpaddleboards.com and I'd be happy to go into uh, some of the finer points of why we seal the interior. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again.